the creation of near net shaped geometries through a directed energy deposition, or DED, that are both uniform in surface texture and sufficiently strong in mechanical performance, requires the combination of both profile and raster toolpaths. While combining these could be done previously in Autodesk PowerMill, it was a manual process which required the merging of two toolpaths or the manual creation of patterns which needed additional reordering to create the desired toolpath. To speed this up, PowerMill now combines profile and raster toolpaths inside of one strategy, automating the creation process. Let's look at this in detail. If we look at this part, there is a boss that we would like to build a net near shape of, which will later be machined into the final boss shape. We can then turn on this net shape so that we can see the result that we would like to create. If we first look at the profile toolpath, we will see that it follows the near net shape geometry, giving us a consistent shape, which will be uniform in shape, but also reduce the issues that it can occur during the machining process. Looking now at the raster toolpath, we see that it efficiently fills the area with a linear pattern and uses a different angle on each layer, increasing the build strength and reducing voids. We now have the option to combine these two to get the benefits of both. Let's activate it and look at the settings of this new toolpath. The raster style now has an option of a profile pass before or after. If I select one of these options, we will see that you can select the settings for profile passes, which will combine and trim the raster toolpath during calculation. This combination of profile and raster styles will simplify and automate the programming process, giving confidence that your net shape will have the uniform shape and the strength needed to be a quality build.